Hi everyone, I'm Sam Whiting, and today we are checking out the awesome new Hitmaker expansion from the good people at Focusrite. We are also going to be using their Scarlet 2i2 interface, the Ableton Live DAW, and I'm going to be listening to all this good stuff through the very nice Adam Audio T5V speakers. Let's go! Okay, let's quickly chat about how to download the Hitmaker expansion onto our computer so we can start making some noise. All I did to get to this page was type in Hitmaker expansion into Google and this should take us straight to Focusrite's own website. At this stage, definitely make sure that you've got your Focusrite account set up and that you've registered your Focusrite products. Once you're happy to continue, you can scroll on down here and see there's some incredible plugins on offer. So in order to grab all this stuff, head on over to this support drop down and I'm going to click on Downloads. You can of course download drivers for your interface and stuff here, but we're going to head to My Software and boom, tons and tons of plugins all available to download. For example, let's click on Addicted Drummers 2. This will give you instructions on how to create an account with XLN Audio and it will give you your code, which I'm going to block out so no one pinches my stuff, and that will get you started. Let's make some music. So I've just finished downloading and installing all of my plugins. I'm now going to open up Ableton which will look a bit like this. And the first thing I like to do is go to the top right here and click on this button, which just gives me a bit more of a familiar view of what I'm used to. In order to get our plugins into this project, we're gonna click on this little drop down arrow over here, make sure that plugins is selected. And the first thing I'm gonna throw in is Addictive Drums 2. Drag that onto this lane here, which is our first track. This is the first thing we're gonna make. And here we have Addictive Drums 2 has appeared. Now, Focusrite have very kindly included in the Hitmaker expansion, this drum kit, which I think sounds awesome. I'm gonna stick with that. You can sit here for ages and tweak all this sort of stuff, but the very first thing I wanna do is grab a drum beat. Now, this is really cool. You can decide what sort of genre you want. I'm gonna choose pop rock. I'm gonna leave the tempo as all, and I want it to be in 4-4. Let's have a look at this bread and butter beat number one. All I'm gonna do to get this into my track is highlight this eighth HH -h closed, hi-hat closed section here, and I'm literally gonna drag it into the very first couple of bars of our tune. If I now hit play in Ableton, you can hear that we've got a drum beat going on now. Okay, let's move on to the Oberhausen plugin. Now I use this one for the synth bass in my track. What I did is exactly the same as before, I found the Oberhausen plugin and I dragged it into this second lane, which we're gonna use for our bass. And here we go, this is what the plugin looks like. I've also connected my MIDI keyboard, so when I play some keys... Pretty cool, it's all working great, but not quite the sound I have in mind. The thing I love about this plugin is that if we click up here on what says Untitled at the moment, we have got literally hundreds of presets, which are perfect if you're just trying to get an idea down. I wanted a bass, so I'll hover over here. And I also noticed earlier that it says Synthwave Bass here. I'm a massive Synthwave fan, and here we go. Okay, this is starting to sound pretty cool. Next step is to record some guitars. So first things first, let's get plugged into the Focusrite interface and dial up the gain so we get a nice clean signal. Second, we're going to pull in the Marshall Jubilee plugin from Softube. This is what we're going to be using for all of our guitar tones. And a third nice little trick is we can still use all of our guitar pedals. I'm going to use the Super Clean from Exotic for this. The Focusrite interfaces take the outputs of pedals really well, they have a nice high headroom, and it's a really nice way of us bridging that gap between our physical gear and the new digital plugins we're using. Now, when you first plug this in, it's going to sound something like this. So, what I'm going to do very quickly to get my sound for a clean guitar, rock up the presence, take off loads of bass, 
and reduce the input gain by a fair chunk, and now we're dealing with this sort of thing. Much more like what I have in mind, so let's get a recording done. Okay, last but certainly not least, we are going to be adding a guitar solo over the top of this track. Just like before, we're going to be plugging into the Focusrite interface, and I'm using a slightly different pedal this time, I'm using the plumes from Earthquaker Devices. Like the clean guitar, I've added some reverb, and in this case I've also added some delay. <laughs> That to me just makes it sound that much more like an epic guitar solo tone. All I'm going to do on the plugin, if you have a quick look here, is rock down a little bit of bass to get rid of some of the thump, and I'm going to rock out a little bit of the treble just to smooth out the sound a bit, and this is the kind of thing we're after. <laughs> Thank you. 